Hey guys, welcome to Saintly Minute today. Today we're learning a little bit about St. Philip Neri. So St. Philip Neri was a really good evangelist and his life goal was just to help people um, live better lives and live out the gospel. Um, so he was really, really good at that. And he um, oftentimes would just have like these really, like not just confessions, but like these really good, deep conversations with people who wanted to better themselves. Um, and in 1575, Pope Gregory um, the 13th, Pope Gregory, I don't like that one up, Pope Gregory the 13th um, approved his St. Philip Neri organization, which was the Congregation of the Priests of the Oratory. And he had simple rules for them. They had to share a common table. And they had to perform spiritual exercises. He didn't want his followers to be bound by, like, the laws of the life or with a vow. Um, and he didn't want them to denounce their property. His, I mean, his sole goal was, like, we need to help people and we need them to live out the gospel. Um, I did read this funny story about him, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So, um, St. Philip took normal, like, regular walks around the city, usually having a crowd with him. Because um, people just kind of flocked to him because he was just, just he was just so helpful and loving. Um, and he was really fond of jokes and pranks. So he had a student who was this brilliant preacher. Um, he was getting, the, the students getting awards and um, he's written papers. He was famous all throughout Rome um, for his, you know, his skills with speaking about Jesus. And... Um, this this cardinal would take these walks with um, St. Philip Neri, and he had this really old, like, stinky small dog. The The usual was that a, this dog, because he's really old, was carried around by a servant, right? Um, but for, for the walks, when he had this student, St. Philip would make this brilliant preacher student carry around this smelly dog around the city as, the, as they're walking. Um, and it was like, it was shocking to people. They're like, what the heck? Like this, this young man has been received in the Vatican and he's famous and he's wise and he's important and he's carrying around a stinky old dog. Um, St. Philip Neri said that he was doing it to make sure that the man stayed humble, right? Kind of funny. Um, I just thought that was kind of like a funny little story, but okay, let's pray, um, that we can have the humility and that we can have the focus that St. Philip did on just spreading the gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of St. Philip Neri. I know times are weird right now, but I just pray that just like St. Philip, when people come in contact with us, that they receive you, that they see you and that they see your gospel, that we may become the living gospel to all those around us, and we can spread your light and your joy to anyone we come in contact with today and the rest of our lives. Amen. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, guys, that's Saintly Minute today. Bye.